Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer 1.5.10, Verifying Directly Connected Networks. This Packet Tracer assignment is a part of the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Networking Academy curriculum. This Packet Tracer assignment is very similar to our previous Module 1 Packet Tracer where we configure IP version 4 local area networks on R1, two of them, and we configured two local area networks for IP version 6 on R2. This one is very similar, except for there are some issues that have already been configured. So this is kind of almost like our troubleshooting labs where we go in and figure out what's incorrect. So let's look at our consult our addressing table as I click on these devices. So on PC1, so on PC1, I'm going to go to IP configuration, and you'll be able to see that my IP addressing should match what is in our table over here for PC1. So for PC1, I've got 172.16.2010.255.255.255.255.128. Sorry about that. It's a slash 25, so that's correct. And our default gateway should be the G000 interface on R1, which is 172.16.20.1, and I believe it should also note that right here. So everything's good on PC1. Let's check PC2. So for PC2, we've got 172.16.20.138. 255.255.255.128, sorry, all my 255s are getting crossed up today. Um, and then our default gateway should be the G001 interface on R1, which is 172.16.20.129, which it is. So everything is good on PC2. Now let's check R1. All right, now, how do we check the IP addresses of this? Well, if we press enter, our password is Cisco enable and then class we can do a show run so again we're looking at g000 this is connection to sw1 so let's kind of move this over here so it should be connection to sw1 our ip address is 172.16.20.1 255.255.255.128 let's make sure that's correct 172.16.20.1 and that subnet mask should be the same there, yes. Um, you notice that it says shutdown though. We don't have any link lights in this particular lab, so we don't know if it's up or down, but it does say it's shut down. So you can note there that we do want to type no shut on G00. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go configuration mode, interface G000, and no shutdown, all right, to turn that interface on. Okay, the IP addressing was good, but we needed to turn it on. Now let's check G001, which is the one that goes down to SW2. So we'll go back up here. G001, let's check the IP addressing. G001 is 172.16.20.129, 255.255.255.128. For the um, subnet mask, so everything looks good on that as well. We can check our serial interface while we're here 209.165.200.225. That's for serial 010, is what we should have. We notice here our IP address is 209.165.200.229. So that's actually incorrect as well as the subnet mask so two a uh, slash 30 should be 252 so we have an issue there for serial 010 so let's go there so let's actually exit out of this one and we want to go to interface serial 010 and we're going to do no ip add that'll clear out the ip addressing that we currently have and then we'll do ip add 209.165.200 dot 225 and then the subnet mask should be 255.255.255.252 all right so we should have a slash 30 or a 252 for the subnet mask all right 
Now let's make sure that one was turned on. It looks like it is. If, as long as it doesn't say shut down, it should be turned on. Um, if you ever want to try, you can just or just you know make sure you can do no shutdown. But you see nothing happened, so it's already on. All right, so we should be good with R1 and this side of the network. Now let's go over to PC3, PC4, and R2. So PC3 here, we should have IP version six addressing set up. And let's verify over here. So PC3, we've got 2001 DB8 C0 DE colon 12 colon colon A, the forward slash 64, and the default gateway is FE80 colon colon 2. That looks correct. Let's check PC4. All right, my default gateway, FE80 colon colon 2. And my IP addressing, 2001 colon DB8 colon C0 DE colon 13 colon colon A forward slash 64. That looks good as well. So now let's check R2. All right, so we'll log in to R2 with Cisco enable and then class all lowercase and do a show run all right so the interfaces g000 is connected to sw3 up at the top there um and you notice it says no ip add but we're using ip version 6 so that's what we want to look at so ip version 6 address we should see db we should see 2001 db8 c0 de colon 12 colon colon 1 forward slash 64 that looks good and it is turned on because it doesn't say shut down uh g001 2001 db8 c0 de colon 14 is listed here but right here i see 13 so that is incorrect so we need to fix that one um let's look at the serial interface too while we're here 2001 db8 c0 de colon 11 colon colon 1 forward slash 64 so that's okay so this one here the g001 interface is a one incorrect with the ip version 6 address so let's fix that so we'll go to config t and it was interface g001 let me move this in the middle here All right, so interface G001 um, and then IPv6 add 2001 colon DB8 colon C0 DE colon 13 colon colon 1 forward slash 64. So that should fix that issue for us. And of course, if you do an exit, do show run. The do command allows us to complete these commands no matter where we're at in our system. Now, if we go back, G001. Oh, we need to clear out the other one, though. Um, so let's do, I'm going to copy this, actually. And we'll do interface G001 and no IPv6. Well, here, let's just paste. No IPv6 address. Clear that one out of there. So now do show run. G001 should only have the 13 address listed there. And you see here, we're at 100% for our lab. So we are all done. So connectivity has been restored. Issues have been corrected. So the things that we corrected were two issues on R1 and one issue on R2.